Brittany Forkey is a young, aspiring communicator in the field of leadership, entrepreneurship, and journalism. Overall, Brittany Forkey is a spoken word artist. I've been in spoken word for four years now. Um, it started when I joined Christ Embassy. So I was trying to understand this gift. But then I ne I'd never known that that's the name or that's how it's being called, like spoken word. But I always knew that I'm good with words and how to write. So since 2020 or 2019, I started spoken word, writing and performing. So it's been a journey that's been worthwhile. Okay, spoken word is something that is very fast. It's not just about writing, but it's about speaking and speaking expressively. When you have to do it, well, spoken word, per se, spoken word is, is expressions. It has to do with a lot of communication and communication overall, is, it has to do with body, body language. It has to do with your voice, your tonality and the message, which is the most important and the most relevant. So its impact to the world does not just dwell on the performance, but it dwells on the message. So there's a lot about spoken word and it can go as long as penetrating the hearts of the people and changing lives with not just the words you say, but the performance, which is very, very important when it has to do with spoken word. When people talk about spoken word, they think it's just about speaking, but it has to do with everything that concerns your body in client. So spoken word is very fast, important, and it's another version of worship when it has to do with the body of Christ. The best, one of the best ways to express yourself to God, which is in words and performance. Um, in Cameroon, it's evolving. It's something that is new, which is not well known. So when it has to do with performing in churches, they are often surprised. They always ask themselves, like, what is this genre of um, performance and worship? They still do not know. They think it's just about performance and entertainment. But they get to um, be surprised, shocked, and sometimes gobsmacked and ask themselves, what is this thing? So while we perform <laughs> most times in churches, we realize the, 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 the shock and the surprise on their faces and always asking us, where is this thing from? Is it just about writing and performing? Is it preaching? Yeah, they often, they often ask if it's preaching, which is another form of preaching. If you're a spoken word artist, please, I can advise you that you can start getting into the preaching ministry because it's about revealing Christ through words. But the difference is that it is being uh, memorized. You memorize it and you perform it, unlike preachers, but you preach it. You bring it out to the body of Christ. So Cameroonians are still embracing it. They are still welcoming it. And we pray as time goes, on they will get to welcome it with full and open arms because some churches right now still don't know and they are not yet giving us the opportunities to perform there well in every field there are various challenges in spoken words one of the greatest challenges we face is the fact that it's not yet known so to perform it is often difficult when we get to churches, like we want to do, uh, give a special number that is common when we, on Sundays that we have to give special numbers for singing, uh, pretty creepy drama. But when we say spoken word, they often, they, they welcome it. They don't welcome it with open arms. So we, we face it as a challenge per gospel that we, we cannot perform it freely because it's not yet known. Another challenge for spoken word is not just about the performance and the yet to be accepted form of it, but it is the practice, the part where you have to memorize each and every line that you have to perform. It is very difficult to write a script and to memorize it and then deliver at its peak. Most times we deliver what we, we did not write because we, we often forget. But the flow is very consistent because we have mastered our content. Another challenge um, is coming up with a team that you can work with that is going to um, exhibit and help you showcase this gift. 
spoken word is very massive wide and very impactful but then getting people who can work in collaboration with you to bring it forth is often a challenge because they still do not know it they think it's drama but it's not drama it's about performance in an artistic way so the challenge is that we are we are struggling to get to collaborate with people because they are not yet familiar and versed with it so mm, there are so many of the challenges you know finances too is another one but then since as it's not your welcome we sometimes try to do it with our phones but because of the, of the unfamiliarity of the art people still are yet to understand so they don't yet promote it and so many other things so i think those are basically the major challenges in spoken word All right, for inspiration, I've always known that I had a gift to write because to speak, you must start conceiving an idea and then you must put it down in paper. So I've always known that I had the gift to write, but to start performing, I was inspired by a 16-year-old who who helped me to birth this gift. I had never known I could perform. So she inspired me by giving me the courage that, wow, you have a nice speaking voice. Why don't you try this art? And then I started when I started it, I realized I started falling in love more and more in, 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 uh, with the arts and the craft. It was so spectacular because it resonated with a part of me. So every time I want to write about something, it sometimes naturally flow because I realized there's a part of me that's in this thing. And there is something in that thing that belongs to me. It's like a puzzle that fits. So it always gives me that momentum to write. And I might see something that's inspiring for instance we might be here and i just look at the camera and something strikes not just to get the surface meaning but to get a deeper meaning so what often inspires me is to get the deeper meaning of what i see could be i look at the lens of the camera and i'm getting an inspiration to write something about life with that camera and that's why i often create content online that um, sometimes it, it seems like it's just written content, but it's the spoken word in me that is making me to produce content that are deeper than what we often see in the surface. So inspiration comes from within. It's internal. It's something that natural. Let's say it's inborn. Wow, well, that's a very brilliant question. Most times people... Mis, uh, misconcepted they think uh, spoken words should be only when you write no it's not about writing so people can actually write but not perform so i don't think spoken words should be only for writers it's a vast field i think spoken word can be for anybody who has a creative mind who has an innovative mind it means if you can think out of the box if you can bring out an idea or a concept out of anything that you perceive you can actually do spoken word because spoken word is just like seeing something and giving meaning to that thing and now bringing it in an elaborate form it must not be written it could just be a concept in mind it could just be an idea it could be an imagination it could be a thought it could be anything that's in your mind so it functions in your stream of consciousness that's your mindset your mind your internal part of you so that part is what should foster spoken word not necessarily writing because it is the thought that gives you the ability to write and so people don't even write oftentimes i don't write spoken word i just have it in me and i perform it i do it sometimes with my phone and i'm having an inspiration i don't write anything i just take my phone and put it there and then bring it out what is inside so writing just helps you to shape it to be more constructive writing is something that polishes the spoken word but, but not necessarily means that you must be a writer before you are being able to be called a spoken word or to be addressed as one Um, spoken word has a very great role to play in the corporate worship sector because spoken word is unlike the normal. Spoken word is a high form of worship because we don't just present per what we've written, 
But for the in the gospel sec- sector, we get to talk about God. We are revealing Christ through our crafts. We are revealing Christ through our words. It's just like worship when people are doing exaltation. But this one is a more intense one and it has to do with a lot of emotions involved. So I think for you to use your emotions to convey a message, it can touch a lot of lives than just when you just do it casually with the mind, the religious mindset that I just have to worship God. But this one is very intentional and it is very impactful because you get to pour out all your emotions into it. And now I think the church can foster and promote this, not just by the word spoken word, but dramatize it. Because spoken word is performance. We don't just perform per talking. Like I said, it has to do everything with your body and client. And emotions are very important in spoken word, which are going to be very impactful to the lives that we are presenting to or the lives that we minister to. This is a whole um, ministry on its own. That's what people are here to understand. Spoken word is a whole ministry on its own. And the church can help this by allowing the room for it to be given as special numbers. Special numbers because there are many people who have it within but don't have the platform to bring it out. So in the course of time, it dies. So the church can help it by also including it in their radar. Why would they accept music perform? music uh, special numbers and not accept spoken word i think that's a worry and a, a, a call for concern spoken word is a whole ministry that is going to t- that is touching the touching lives already so many lives if we can inculcate that into our church systems and bodies i think it's going to be massive and it's going to create a lot of transformative changes in the lives of people All right, very interesting question. Motivational talks, <laughs> like we all know, this is meant to help people in their lowest lows of life. And uh, spoken word goes as deep. It's deeper than motivational talks. Because spoken word has to do with a lot of experiences. You know, personal experience, we don't just present, we don't just perform what we have not experienced. We don't just perform what we think is correct we perform what we are we perform who we are we exhibit what we believe we exhibit what we have experienced whereas motivational talks you can just hear from somebody it could be based on inherent knowledge like hearing from someone knowing reading a book knowing about something which you have not directly experienced and you can talk to somebody about it so most times people have a misconception or a a belief that motivational talks is the same with spoken word it's quite different spoken word goes beyond as expressive expressive um communication where you are you are communicating with your audience pay your experience now you get to feel what they feel you get to talk what they are going through Whereas motivation, you can just learn it and then deliver to every to anybody. Whereas you have never felt it. That's why some motivational speakers are depressed. But a spoken word artist can be depressed, but they get to put in their emotions into that thing because they have experienced it. Motivational talks are quite different from spoken word. interesting so this is a question that i often get what are you who are you what do you do (laughs) because i'm very passionate about um leadership entrepreneurship everything that has to do with humans and relevance and value now when i have to specify i have to specify on relevance and value that's why i'm engaged into leadership and entrepreneurship in leadership i am focused on spoken word um, public speaking rather public speaking is my major strength and i think with that i can get to teach people a lot about leadership that's why i engage in entrepreneurship and also entrepreneurship fostered me to be into the um, digital space digital marketing affiliate marketing i do everything that has to do with skill set skill building and um, for a couple of years, I've been engaged with um, the uh, digital marketing, which I think every woman, every girl, every lady should add value. Not just being uh, an artist in whatever field, not just being a performer or a talented folk, but I think everybody should get a skill. 
that is going to skyrock your just your competence enough it's going to give you credibility it's going to add value to your life because you will not just be a talker of your gift exhibiting but talent yet broke you need to acquire a skill that's going to put food on your table that is going to help you to be a woman with a difference that's why i had to engage in all these things of learning on learning relearning it's helping me to boost and become the woman i aspire to be that's the woman that inspires that's the woman that motivates that's a woman whose life transforms people and gives people hopes to carry on you have to have a uh, younger version of britney this is something i'll tell her be a woman of worth be a lady of worth and essence and this is simply because in our contemporary society women have been noted to be the vulnerable version the vulnerable sex the vulnerable ones not because um they are just so but because they have given people reasons to call them that and people who don't think beyond the box If I were to talk to a younger version of me, I'll tell them to acquire value. Get a lot of value. Become so valuable that you are feared to be replaceable. So that people will know that uh, there is more to be a lady than just carrying on with all the archi- physical attributes that you have. There is a lot <laughs> to do in the world. I will tell the younger Britney to walk in line with her purpose because that is what makes you to stand out. Anything can fade. Um you can get discouraged along the way, but getting to understand your purpose will keep you on a stand not stand still but on a lane that you keep fostering, keep moving, keep striving, striving and thriving. It's very important to understand your purpose. And I'll also tell the younger version of me that be very humble to learn. Be very humble, learn. learn and learn and learn study because the bible says study to show yourself approved if you don't get knowledge you will be you will be irreplaceable my quest is that be so valuable that you are feared to be replaceable people will fear and you will become irreplaceable hmm oh my god first september studios is one of the best that's happening um in cameroon So far I think this is the most welcoming studio. They are not uh purpose they're not driven with money rather. They're not driven with just money. They are driven with promoting the gifts, bringing out the talent, supporting the Cameroonian sector. And I think if most people come together to work like this, Cameroon will be on the map. In terms of skills in terms of potential, First September Studio is striving hard every blessed day to bring out this potential to showcase it to the world. And they are very hospitable. You know, if you're coming here for your first time, trust me, you always feel like you have been here for a long time. There is no restraint with with strangers. They don't have any um diversified relationship with their strangers. When I came here for my first time, I was really really welcomed. I felt I fell in love with them for the first time and I just like this is the place I have to keep coming back because it's home. You feel safe. You know that this is where you are to be. because they don't showcase any form of pride arrogance but yet welcoming hard woman love and in all hospitable um char- character and um exhibitions so first of all studio is so beautiful lovely and the best thing that's happening in today's world especially in cameroon okay my people <laughs> so this is my indian accent You can get to me on Facebook uh, through Britney Funky and you can also get to me on Instagram Britney Funky also um, through my mobile number <laughs> 6804495970 6804495970 Britney Funky is my name thank you All right, I'm very grateful for life. I'm grateful to be here on earth. 
at this time, this dispensation of time to reveal this particular gift to the world. I'm also grateful for the opportunity First September Studio has given me to also talk about this because this is something that's not common and ordinary. So I appreciate them. I want to also thank the person who helped me out to bring out this gift and potential. That's um, O'Connell Joyce. She has been a push. She has been an inspiration. And some other people too who are also in the field. There's Penboy, there's Sandra, there's Jay Joy. There's so many of them in Cameroon who are also making waves. Makalonge in the um, poetic domain. So this uh, this goes as far as saying that embrace your talent, work on it, build it, invest in it. Because the Bible says your gift will make you to stand before kings. Please don't compromise when you discover a talent. Don't relent because if you are being silent about positivity indirectly you are giving room for negativity to thrive so keep on pushing pressing on persisting on your gifts your talent and those goals that you've written down thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next episode